In this demonstration, we will consider a scenario where investigators have been assigned to a human trafficking task force, which is focused on identifying questionable financial transactions related to criminal operations. We start here on the DataWalk Universe Viewer, which is a visual environment where data from many different sources can be imported, structured, connected, and analyzed. We'll start on our SAR data set, where we have 7,083 SARs, and we'll filter specifically to select those SARs with a SAR date that indicates the SAR was filed in the last six months. And we apply that filter and we see that we have 58 such SARs and that those SARs are associated with 32 people. We can also easily filter on the connection where we can identify how many people have multiple SARs. And we find that there are 16 people who have multiple SARs. They're associated with a total of 74 SARs. We go to histogram to profile this data, and in particular we want to profile the SAR data, specifically for the violation amount of the SAR. And we see that we have 51 SARs under $10,000 and a number of higher value SARs. In this case we want to take a look at the SARs under 10 k as this is indicative of structuring to avoid detection, perhaps covering up proceeds of crimes such as human trafficking. So we set that filter and we see that there are 10 people associated with these SARs under $10,000. Now, as we've gone along, we've saved our path through this analysis in this workflow, in these breadcrumbs. And we can actually save this as an analysis such that other uh, colleagues of ours could come back and easily recreate or modify this analysis at a later time. To do that, we indicate that we want to save the analysis and we'll call this multiple SARs, SAR, and last six months. And we'll indicate that we want to share this analysis so that it's visible to other colleagues who have appropriate permissions to see this data. With this, our colleagues can then rerun that analysis simply at the, at the click of a button. Now we'll take these 10 people off to a link chart in DataWalk to see what we can learn about these people and what we can learn about their specific connections. We start by adding the SARS associated with each of these people. And of course, we expect that each of these people has multiple SARS since that was one of our filter conditions. And we look in and see that's indeed the case with many of these people having four or five SARS. Next, we can add additional linked objects. In this case, we're gonna add unique addresses. And quickly, we see in, a, in the system visualization that there's one address that's shared by multiple people. And in particular, this one address at 3563 Marcourt Bypass Port is shared by three individuals, each of whom have multiple SARS. We can take this further and we can build our link chart to add unique phones associated with each of these people. And now we notice that there's a phone that's shared by multiple parties. We get a better look at that. And we see that this phone number, 555-9238, was shared by three individuals, each of which have SARS. We can continue to build out this structure, see if there are other people who may be associated with this phone. So we add connected people, and we see that there are multiple people. We can then see for each of those people if they have additional SARS, and we see that they do. So with just a few clicks, we've gone from about 8,000 SARS to proactively identifying a subset of people who are exhibiting particularly suspicious behavior consistent with the human trafficking ring. These final results represent high value targets and become the focus of a full-scale investigation.